So in December, we kicked off our Insider program by inviting the first thousand players into our technical alpha, which was a huge step for us as a, as a project and as a studio. And since then, it's been so exciting to, to grow that audience and to add features to the game and really start testing them in the wild with real players, providing feedback and us looking at data, telemetry and surveys and forum posts and really figure out how to take this game forward and how to improve it and, and how to improve the features we've been putting in there. So yeah, it's been a huge step for us as a team and as a, as a studio and um, we're super excited to, to keep doing this moving forward. Almost every time we've put something new into the game, uh, we've, we've got feedback and we've got something that we then wanted to go and react and change. Some of the first stuff that we put into the, uh, the game uh, for after that initial technical alpha was uh, skeletons, so that there was a kind of AI threat in the world, and we also grew the world size, um, which led to some really interesting feedback around player encounters and the frequency of kind of meeting other ships and other players in that world. With skeletons, when we first put those in, we definitely got feedback from a majority of players that they were a little bit too challenging, a little, they appeared a little bit too frequently in the world. And so we then took that feedback, we made some tweaking to how they spawn, uh, how accurate they are with weapons, uh, we put those back into the build and then we tested it again with that existing player base and also some new players. And so they weren't feeling kind of too, too threatened or opposed by, by the skeleton, so we felt that they were in a good place. When we brought the larger world into the game, um, that was when we started getting feedback from players around the frequency of encounters with other ships in the world. And we used telemetry to kind of look to how often ships came in within a certain distance of each other. And we also looked, got feedback from players in the forums and via the survey around, like, we didn't really see anybody in, um, in the session I was in there. I was expecting to see, see more ships. I wanted to go and hunt down and have a fight with players. And so with that feedback, we then looked at the kind of visibility distance across the, the world in terms of how our art team set up the lighting and the fogging and everything else um, and so really increased the likelihood of you being able to see that ship on the horizon and with the feedback we got from players we made those changes we put it in and we're now actually measuring that as we go through each into, um, technical alpha playtest um, and we're gonna we're gonna be measuring and seeing how players react to those changes and if we need to take further steps one of the biggest topics within uh, the community and within the players playing the game is around voice chat and we, you know, we're really proud of the kind of system that we've built uh, that's proximity chat and allows players that, to encounter other, other crews in the world and have experiences where when you're close to them you can hear them, you can kind of speak to each other and, and it leads to those really unexpected encounters. We've definitely seen from our telemetry and feedback from players that some people love the experience of voice chat and they, they love to crew up, play with people um, who are all talking and really kind of have that shared social experience. But we've seen from some players that maybe don't want to use voice chat, can't use voice chat for, for whatever reason, um, that they actually prefer to play, play with players that also aren't using voice. And we're looking at a couple of um, solutions. One is looking at our matchmaking and looking at is there ways that we can perhaps prioritise putting players together who want to use voice and those that don't. But we're also um, looking and designing at the moment our kind of non-verbal communication system, which is a way that players will be able to uh, communicate with each other, send instructions to each other and talk to each other without having to use voice. Sea of Thieves is a, a social multiplayer game. Communication is critical and so we want to provide both a, a voice solution and a non-verbal solution that allows players to play in the way they want to play with the type of players that they want and to, and to have a great experience regardless of which option you go for. From the beginning of the project we've always had the aspiration to get the game into players hands early and giving them access to exclusive insights and early versions of the game that they can give us feedback on. It's been really great to be able to get into that technical alpha phase and, and operate in that way that we want to operate going forward throughout the rest of the project as we, you know, we continue this unique way of bringing the game to market. So wrapping up, we just wanted to say thanks again to everybody that's been involved in the Insider program. Whether you've got a chance to play or not, we, you know, we, we know there's a bunch of people that want to get in um, and we're going to be growing that audience every time we play. But we're always looking for new insiders too. And if this sounds like the type of game that you'd be interested in, if you want to get involved early, you want to get some behind the scenes kind of information and insights into how the game is uh, growing and evolving and have the opportunity to provide feedback and shape the future of Sea of Thieves, then just please visit seaofthieves.com uh, where you can sign up for the Insider program. And, and we look forward to seeing you out there on the seat.